Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcade Economics. And today we have a video about some news out from Fortuna Silver as they have been continuing their drilling at Seguela and have increased their Sunbird resource and also identified a few new prospects at their Seguela project in Cote d'Ivoire. As Paul Whedon mentions, drilling at Seguela has continued to highlight the exploration potential of the project, including the definition of a maiden indicated mineral resource and a substantial increase in the inferred mineral resource at Sunbird. They've also identified two new prospects at Barana and Batior, as well as getting additional high-grade results from Kestrel. The drilling at Sunbird has continued to expand the mineralized footprint, extending the southern high-grade chute a further 75 meters long strike, with a drill hole intersecting 10.2 grams per ton gold over 9.1 meters and also 10.2 grams per ton over 7 meters. While drilling has also confirmed the continuity of mineralization between the central and southern high-grade chutes, intersecting 6.5 grams per ton over 15.4 meters. The drilling at Sunbird has resulted in an upgraded estimate, including a maiden indicated mineral resource of 3.2 million tons at 2.7 grams per ton for 279,000 ounces, and an inferred mineral resource of 4.2 million tons at 3.74 grams per ton for 506,000 ounces. That consisted of 41 diamond and reverse circulation drill holes totaling 14,520 meters. And you can see the highlights here include 4.1 grams per ton over 23.1 meters, 6.5 grams per ton over 15.4, 6 grams per ton over 11.2, 10.2 grams per ton over 9.1 meters, and 10.2 grams per ton over seven meters. Drilling at Sunbird has defined the mineralization a further 150 meters down plunge and remains open at depth, approximately 400 meters below surface, and also shows that the two main high-grade ore chutes, which were previously modeled as separate chutes, are part of a continuous load with a strike length of at least 700 meters, which reinforces the potential for underground mining at Sunbird and they are going to continue drilling throughout the fourth quarter. Here is the long section looking west at Sunbird where you have the southerly plunge aspect to the high grade mineralization that remains open at depth. And here is the cross section looking north where again you can see that the high grade mineralization remains open at depth. Additionally, as I mentioned above, they did have some new discoveries at Batior where a nine hole, 936 meter reverse circulation program provided drill results of 11.5 grams per ton over 15.4 meters, 12 grams per ton over 8.4 meters, and 4.2 grams over 9.1 meters. Mineralization there remains open at depth and a long strike to the south, and they are planning further drilling for early 2023. At Barana, they completed a seven hole, 887 meter reverse circulation program where they found 2.3 grams per ton over 5.6 meters and 4.1 grams per ton over 4.9 meters. Mineralization there remains open at depth and a long strike to the north and south with a similar lithology package as what they found at Antenna. And following on from their initial Kestrel drilling program, they completed a 10 hole, 1,262 meter program there, which came back with 4.2 grams per ton over 5.6 meters and 20.3 grams per ton over 3.5 meters, where mineralization has been defined along a 200 meter strike and remains open at depth. Here you can see the results at Barana and Batior, which are on the north side of the project. And again, the results that I mentioned for Kestrel, which is slightly south of the processing plant. And of course, to see the press release with the full results, link in the description field below. So congratulations to Fortuna Silver as they continue to expand their resource ahead of first gold pour in 2023 where they are finding additional mineralization as we've seen a rally in the metals price. So again, link in the description field below and click there to find out more about Fortuna.